Hey folks, how are you? Joe here, it's the middle of November. As you can tell from the orange I'm wearing, just trying to be a little cautious out here. If this looks like a familiar scene to you, don't be surprised. This is the, the best lean-to. The best lean-to shelter that I've finally revisited for the first time in three years? Almost four years probably? All my old building materials are all here except for any kind of paracord or anything. I took every man-made uh, material out of here. So we got logs, I got a big old fire pit there. The plan for today is to set up a temporary shelter for tonight with some wax canvas from Bushcraft Spain. I got a wax canvas tarp, a ground sheet, uh, a pretty cool chair to make. Uh, it's supposed to start raining really late tonight at around midnight and it's gonna rain all night through until like nine in the morning heavily. So I do have to get prepared and ready for that. I have a wool blanket for warmth. I have to gather some leaves for my bed and I'm going to have to get a lot of firewood because I'm going to need the fire going as long as I can uh, to keep me warm by the fire. It's not going to get too cold today, plus 7 degrees Celsius at night, which is better than it, was, than it, than it has been, so it's a good day to do it. So anything useful like this, I'm going to put over here, logs, anything that I don't think I'm going to use, or at least right off the hop, I'll throw far enough behind, because I need to make my shelter right here. I need to have a, an empty spot right here, for the most part. This was a lot of work, man. This was years of work. But I didn't want to leave it up when I moved away because I didn't think I was going to ever come back and it's been almost four years so I don't, don't regret tearing it down at all unless it'll give me a new chance to build something new just for tonight here so I'm only spending the night and give me a chance to play with my canvas tarps Okay, pretty pleased with how clear this is now. I do want to pull all the leaves away. I don't want to get them too far because I'm going to use most of them for my bedding, but I want them away from the fire pit. Of course, there's going to be sticks in there. I'm going to have to sift through a little bit, but for the most part, I want all this duff for my, my bedding and to get it away from the, the fire pit. Dual purpose, yo. Dual purpose, yo. Ooh, I found a bug. A little larva. I'm gonna go bury him again over here. A little larva guy. You don't want to be over there anyways. It's gonna get hot. Boop. Now a beetle will grow. Not too shabby. Okay. I'm liking the way that's looking. We got a little bit more duff to throw on top here for my bedding. Right in here. Okay. Got my orange puffy there next to a sweater on the ground. Just trying to keep it orange. Trying to keep it high vis around here, you know? Alright, let's check out this hidden woodsman backpack and see what I got for today. I've never used this tarp before. You've seen me use a Bushcraft Spain tarp, but that was my bigger one. This is the smaller one they made and sent me, uh, I think, maybe almost a year ago. I've never used it because 
I've been doing canoe camping and stuff, and this is the time of the year that I like to use these things. So, we're going to try it out for the first time. Still got the creases in it and everything. It's waxed canvas, like I've been saying. They were nice enough to sew my, my patch on right under theirs. So that's pretty cool. These guys are awesome to deal with. Anyway, what do you think it is? Six by eight, maybe? Yeah, maybe six by eight. This looks like it should cover this pretty well. And then as far as how I want to set it up, I can go in an A-frame or I can go on a lean-to. Actually, yeah, I'll probably go on the lean-to just because it'll be better for the fire. Well, I can use some of those logs too. We've got to figure out what we're going to do here first. All right, I think I've got a pretty cool idea about how to build the shelter. Pretty minimalistic, small with this backpack uh, outing. So that's why I got the small axe, small saw. But we're gonna do just fine with them. That's a dead white pine. We're gonna use that for our ridge pole. Want it to go past like almost two arm lengths full. <laughs> you can see my canoe way off in the forest there. I brought it back into the forest with me this time. So I got the right size now, I just want to clean it up as much as possible. This white pine is pretty slick, lightweight, not too many branches coming off of it every which way. And straight, readily available, it ticks all the boxes, all the boxes folks. No pokies soon. Tastes good and everything. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, cool. We'll use that later on, I'm sure. satisfied with that. I've gone and break it from the back forward too now. Kind of got the bed where I think I'm going to lay. Right about there just behind the ridge pole. I can't breathe. We're getting there. Yeah, so if I put it over the length way, and if I overlap it a bit on the top, I think I can get more of a protection coming over, and they'll still be fine by the fire because of the canvas. That looks good to me, pretty level. on there pretty good.
Not too bad. Pretty happy with that. Let's go do the other side, see how it turns out. Not too bad. A little creasy. Okay, this isn't so bad. I got quite a bit of coverage under here. Yeah, quite a bit. I'm pretty happy with this. Let's pull back the back of the tarp though to try and gain ourselves some more room. I'm sure some people are wondering why I didn't just use one of the pieces of wood I already had for the ridge pull, uh, but there was just none long enough. That was the reason. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna peg out the back bottom in the middle first before I tie it out. Back, bottom, middle. I want to get my other piece of shelter here. My ground sheet. The oil, wax canvas rather, and the wool on the, on the bottom again from bushcraft spain let's go put this on top of the leaves and try make ourselves a little bit of a bed so i've really tried to spread out the the leaves and take out the sticks and stuff to make it the right size for me looks like there's enough off the ground it should be all right with this doubled with this which is canvas and wool like i already said and my wool blanket should be plenty. I've definitely done with less. Give myself a little bit of a pillow. Okay, okay. Not too shabby. I might use, if I don't need that, I might throw that stuff underneath the, the, sh the mattress here too. Okay. Oh. Perfect size for me, I fit perfectly on it. Comfort wise, this is not bad. I am gonna take the little bit of extra at the bottom and stuff it underneath more. Pro I'm probably gonna, out I'm gonna make a bed actually, like an outline of a bed so it doesn't go everywhere. That's a good call. That's a good call, Joe. Thanks, Joe. in now a little bit better oh. Oh. okay not so bad not so bad a little lumpy but okay back at it Not too bad, eh? A lot of coverage. That's not so bad. Cool. Gonna do this side now. And it's getting pretty, uh, pretty daunting out here. 
We got some leaves falling, that's for sure. Holy smokes. I'm done for the most part. Okay. I can double up, put half my blanket underneath, half my blanket on top. This will trap some heat. I'm going to Hmm, maybe I can build a fire reflector. Maybe I'll build a fire reflector too. Okay. Look, there's uh, little pine trees growing in my old fire pit. This is awesome. I got another really cool piece of gear that I haven't used yet. We'll grab that and we'll get it ready for what I'm going to use it for. This is something really cool. This is like a clothes roll slash pillow. So I got all my extra clothes in here. I've got it tied off with a Canadian jam knot just for compression again bushcraft Spain and check it out so I've got clothes in there I got sweater long john socks a toque a little buff but now this is empty you flip it inside out oh I got a handkerchief too you flip it inside out and it's got wool on one side and canvas on the other and you can fill it with things to make a pillow tonight I probably have enough clothes here where I can just leave a few articles of clothing. Even if I take off my pants tonight, I can stuff my pants in there and sleep in my long johns. I probably don't need to collect leaves because I have enough. But in the future, like, or whatever, it doesn't even matter. You can use clothes too. I just like the idea. It's nice and soft, man. It's wool. You can tie it off too. Let's just see how we would do that. Maybe just like this. Get rid of that. actually have to tie it in order for it to be tied. Nice little bow. Nice little bow. Look at that! A freaking comfy pillow! I'm happy about that. Happy about that, can you tell? Bam, son. It's like a freaking cozy dream. everything mm. okay I feel pretty confident like I got a lot of coverage here I'm not really concerned about getting wet which is always a nice feeling you know I'm gonna turn my attention to the fire now I gotta clean up the fire pit I've got to get firewood and I've got to make a fire reflector all of which shouldn't be too difficult because I have a lot of materials right here. Poor pine trees. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. Luckily there's plenty more in Canada. Believe it or not. So under here there's a rock, right? I don't know whoever remembers or has seen those videos. I lined this because I was concerned about putting a fire right on top of the ground here. So this is all like the same rock as this under here, right there, all the way across. I've had many, many long fires, overnight fires here, super hot fires and stuff, super safe. Really good design, really good design if I do say so myself. I'm happy with this place. This was such a cool place to come to, but I live about nine hours away from here now and there's plenty of stuff near my place i just had to come here i had to come near here uh for some 
personal business and I decided to stop here and make a video because it's very nostalgic. I thought you guys might like to see it again and I certainly wanted to. Look at this, there's roots growing on top of it. That's cool, man. The forest was taking this whole thing back. Hey, after like almost four years, just already roots growing over top of it. This would have been buried and gone. That's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. I'm pretty pleased with how this looks. Everything's away. I did find some big rocks that I had stacked around here I didn't remember. Might put those up as the start of like the the block, the uh, fire reflector. Actually, maybe that's what I'll do. Try and make a all stone, all rock fire reflector. We shall see anyway. I am going to put wood here too. These aren't enough, but those will block a lot of the flames from touching the, the wood back, the wood backdrop. And that wind. I'm glad I'm in the forest. Okay, that's pretty decent to me. Oh yeah, bud. Nothing wrong with that at all. Okay, we got those back rocks blocking it quite a bit, so I doubt it'll even catch tonight, which is bonus. Bonus. Okay, well, I went down and got some water from the lake. Just after two, I gotta get firewood done. I'm gonna cook up a stir fry tonight. I'm hoping the rain waits until I go to bed, but either way, we're safe under here. Oh, I gotta build that chair still. Yes, let's do that. Kind of cool. You can see the oak leaves falling on the on the tarp. You can see how much coverage I just have. Just how much coverage I have, I should say. Plenty covered. I might lay here for five minutes. <laughs> As you can see, I've gathered up some firewood on that side and on this side, quite a bit actually.
There's no birch back in here, so shavings it is. That was a big orange signal panel from uh, Malcolm at the Hidden Woodsman. Big enough for me to kneel on and to catch my shavings. Pretty handy. It's like a Cordura, I believe. This is the top of that spruce that I downed for my uh, my ridge pole. I already used the rest of it in the firewood pile there. Smoke's going past the shelter, which is exactly what I want to see. I've got this leather piece that's meant to make a stool. So I've got to cut and build a tripod. I think this is long enough. I don't need it to be too high at all. So for the legs, I can probably go about that long. up the same length and get three pieces right there. All right, and that piece can be used for firewood. Old Canadian jammer. Okay, let's see if that's sufficient. Probably not. Well, she's tight. All right. Let's see. If not, I'll tie a, tri a proper tripod, but I thought this might work. This is a Canadian jam knot piece of rope I already had uh, coming in here holding my pillow together. All right, let's see. So it's got these little pockets. Kind of just force it onto. Never use this, obviously. All right. I think that was as easy as pie. Easy as pie. Okay, let's see how she goes. Looks cool. Yeah, it works. This one's a little wobbly because I just tied it like a fool, but I can retie it. Full support. Nice. Okay, I probably will retie it. Oh, it's getting real out here. It's getting real. Some of my dinner in here. I still got an onion and other stuff, other places, but that'll go there for now while I make my garlic flavored tea. Mmm, that was a silly idea, Joe. <laughs> Let's 
stool is actually pretty sturdy. I'm kind of happy with it. It's pretty lightweight and flat. Just this one piece of leather and a little piece of paracord you need. Not too shabby. It's no blue foam pad, you know. <laughs> oh no. There you go. I'll find some more berries. So what I have here is winter green berries and leaves. We are going to make up a winter green tea. Got a bunch more oak there. Feeling pretty good about my wood. Good about my wood. Got myself a new Stanley Cook Kit. Kit. Cook Kit. That's the word. Let's check it out. So I was at a local outdoor store in Sault Ste. Marie, Joe's Sporting Goods, and I saw this and I thought it looks like a pretty nifty kit. So I got it. I never tried it yet. Outside is a frying pan, a stainless steel frying pan. BPA free. Anyways, it's got the little lock on it. It's got the lid. It's got what I believe is a cutting board. Ooh, I've got some spices in here. I've got a spatula that kind of clips on like a backpack buckle which is kind of nifty so it can fit in there and a spork and a plate with glitter and a dog hair on it and a little silicone I imagine pot grabber but I don't really know anyways the frying pan's a decent size it's heavy duty and um, yeah, it's not too bad for you to put on right on the fire like those non-stick ones like I've been using for years and years. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to do up a stir fry, like I said. So I've been using the cutting board thing inside the lid, so it has a little bit of a lip. It's working out, working out pretty well. I'm on to the onion. I've already got potatoes and garlic all sliced up pretty thinly, pretty thin. Pretty thin. Pretty bigly. Oh, yo! There you go. It's almost, almost, uh, yep. Got another little pouch here from Bushcraft Spain. Just using all the goodies they gave me this trip. Got oil in here somewhere. Yep. Cooking oil some in the pan because it's not a non-stick like I was saying it's just stainless steel so we're gonna need some oil in there for sure oh, leaf I might even put a little bit more there we go can not have too much oil right Myself a little flat spot here. So in first, got the potatoes, a little bit of onions, but mostly just potatoes in there. I took the onions and garlic out. These guys take a hot minute. It'll be nice if that stayed still. Oh, 
I got most of it in there. So this is a uh, silicone pot grabber, which actually works really well. So I've got sausages in here, onions, garlic, and potatoes. Oh, I've got some seasoning. I'm gonna put that on too. Put that on in a minute. Oh, that's looking good. Let's get some applewood smoked seasoning in here. Looking good. Toasty. Toasty meat the bowl. Okay. I'm gonna let that just simmer in there and get nice and soft. It's gonna be good. That's about done, I'd say. Oh, yeah. The plate is tiny. Get back on. Trying to leave the grease in the pan. Or the oil, rather. Be hot. All right, we've got some potatoes, onion, and sausage. Maybe garlic. You can't see it, but mmm, very good. Some garlic. Mmm. It would have been nice to have a pepper in there, but I forgot to buy one. I bought this, some random little grocery store along the way that I have never been to before. Oh man, that's good. This fire's nice and warm. Feeling good about being here, man. This is a very nostalgic feeling for me. Today's Remembrance Day. It's crazy how mild this year has been already for like fall and winter, going into winter. There's been years where there was already snow on the ground. When I moved up to where I live now, near Sault Ste. Marie, in 2018, when we moved up in before Halloween in October, it was blizzarding. It's crazy to, been th to think we've been up there since that long, since 2018. Whole other life. We're so used to it now. We wouldn't even know how to live in Windsor again. When we first moved up, it was such an adjustment. So proud of Emerald just fitting into school and not complaining about nothing and just going along with it. Resilient. Oh. I don't know. This is pretty good. I'm going to keep eating it. Mm. I'll get back with you guys soon, I'm sure. Oh, man. This is so good. Wish I could share. Wish I could share. Just chilling. 
actually pretty comfortable. I'm all the way underneath this tarp on the stool next to the fire. Very warm. Nice long fire. Just waiting for the rain. It's a big one. Almost 10 o'clock. Burning through this wood pretty good. Ah, uh, yep, that's what happens. Bunch over there. And all that stuff still doing pretty good. No rain. No rain yet. Oh, that's gonna be one of the more comfier pillows. More comfy pillows I've had outside. Okay. You wanna adjust this a little bit too. It's a little, a little lopsided. Just like this. Okay. I got quite a few layers on too. So I'm not even really cold. But, oh yeah. Yeah, that'll work. <coughs> oh my. It's 11.30, I'm ready for bed. I'm gonna stoke this fire up again big time. Got a nice big bed of coals, I'm not cold at all. I can feel the residual heat like way back here. These, uh, these rocks are pumping it out too. It's a nice, nice hot fire. Anyways, stoke this up one more time. Some big pieces of oak on top of there, pine underneath. Yes, this feels good. All right, folks, if it starts pouring, or when it starts pouring, if I wake up, I will definitely uh, get that on camera. But other than that, I'm going to bed. Good night. Oh, it's one in the morning, and the rain finally came. I just threw more wood on the fire. There she goes. So it's 2 a.m. now. I threw most of the rest of my wood out on the fire. I've got a bigger piece over there and a couple pieces over there. It's raining. It's raining. The intensity is picking up. It is a rain in, man. I might actually end up dropping that awning down flat like this, like a wall, uh, when this dies down. Because I don't have enough firewood to keep going all night. And uh, I'm not going to have any warmth coming off of that anyway after another hour or two. And that'll be a good rain block because I am getting a little bit of residual rain in here. Nothing bad, but not a bad idea to do that. I actually, I actually anticipated that and built and made up stakes. There's one there. And... There's one over there too, and I'll just stake it right to the ground, right down there. I'll cut the rope and tie it right down. It's four in the morning, most of my 
fire is done, as you can see. And uh, there's a lull in the rain, it slowed down, so I took the time to go out and pull the tarp down a bit. So a little bit more uh, down on the overhang. protection now but I'm headed back to bed now good night again oh it's coming down It's really coming down. It's starting to get a little wet in here just from the back, like the backsplash and residual mist and stuff. But oh yeah, holy smokes! tarp stayed dry. I had someone comment that their Bushcraft Spain tarp leaked like crazy. Well, that was about the most rain you're going to be in. And it's not wet at all. It's completely dry. That's what I thought. But it is morning. And it is still raining. All in all, I slept pretty good. I got up quite a few times, but no sleeping pad. And uh, this freaking pile of leaves I put here is rock solid now, but I still slept pretty good. Stay warm uh, and dry for the most part. So with that amount of rain, I'm pretty happy with this. Pulling it down like this last night was a good idea after the fire died out. I'm, uh, all I'm doing is packing down and getting out of here. I have a cliff bar to eat on the way. It's too, uh, too wet to make a fire. And yeah, it's time to go for me. Really, really happy with the way that this tarp performed. I'm happy I got a chance to try it out in the rain. Uh, and that rained from about midnight heavily until now uh, this is the lightest it's been so like it came down I stayed very very dry residual spray in there mist back and stuff but uh, nothing can be done about that this is a really good shelter this is a really good setup I like the size of it I like how much protection I had on the sides from the wood and from the front with the tarp and obviously on the back. But like if I didn't put those up on the sides there, I would've got rained in on, on uh, sideways for sure. Um, oh yeah, this is cool man, I like this tarp, I do, I really do. This is the heaviest rain that I've camped in in quite some time. All right, oh yeah got it pegged down here which those pegs worked really well my camera's getting pretty wet here I'm gonna have to put it away but I just wanted to show uh, my gear basically what I brought so this is the tarp all wrapped up goes against the back 
um, my clothes roll, my saw goes down the side, my possible's pouch, my watch is there, but I normally have it on, but I just, I, I have too many layers um, to mess around to try and get it on right now. My Stanley uh, frying pan cook set, which I liked. I'm pleased with it. I would would recommend, would buy again. Um, and then I just got to get my ground sheet in there and the wool blanket. Oh, am I sorry? Am I seat and my spice kit thing? My uh, cooking oil. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I sure had a good time. Um, I'm really glad I came back here. I, I'm Like I said, I made the detour here. I had a long drive south, and then I, this is a few hour detour, but I was in the area, and I hadn't been in this area in a while. So I'm glad I came. Nostalgic, fun camp, fun build. Uh, glad to use these quality pieces of gear from Bushcraft Spain. Let's go check those guys out if you're interested, but I just appreciate you watching the video. So there we go. Ground sheet's somewhat compact. That's got to go in there. You know what? I'd rather have it in closer to the, to the bottom. Okay, perfect. Now, the old axe goes in. And get that wool blanket through these loops. Generous webbing on the bag from Malcolm here makes uh, putting the, the bedroll in quite easy. Nothing worse than struggling with that type of stuff or, or like trying to get a sleeping bag back in its stuff sack when it's too small. And I can actually make these straps bigger, but I'm just kind of in a hurry here because my camera's getting wet. Okay, I gotta put my cooking pot in the side and we are ready to roll. So thanks again for watching the video, guys. We'll be back with another one very soon. Take care.